Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. JD here once again. Sorry for the late video. What a, just had a wild and wacky weekend. It was fabulous. Went to the Hillcrest uh, tree farm yesterday. Had an outstanding time. It was a great day. It was beautiful. The weather was great. Had a lot of fun with my friends. And uh, I uh, wait, can't wait to do it again next year. So far as modeling got done I didn't get too much done um, I did some some uh, a little bit of painting did some painting on the uh, the chassis of the monogram 41 Lincoln got the tank painted got the exhaust painted um, I painted the cushions on the bomber seats for the old Tom um, Appreciation build of the 29 Ford Roadster. Uh, biggest amount of work I got done is uh, I got the Inca Gold base coat on the uh, 1950 Olds. There's the hood. Here is the body. Looking good. It's got done spraying this earlier this evening. It's going to look good. Uh, I also got some stash ads over the course of the week. I bought a uh, my set of Pegasus, you can see that with the plastic, Pegasus 19-inch uh, disc brakes for the DeSoto. I had planned on getting those, getting those earlier, but they were out of stock. Got a set of uh, chrome reverse wheels with some white walls. For future projects. I also got some model kits in the stash. Uh, got a Revell 69 Mustang Boss 302. Uh, I like these cars. I, this might be my favorite Mustang uh, because I was big into Trans Am racing uh, when I was younger and I remember the Penske Camaro and the Mustangs racing against each other back in the day. Um, I think this will be a real nice kit. I also got, because everyone seems to be building one of these, a 1950 AMT uh, Ford. I'm probably going to do this as custom, which I might use those uh, chrome reverse wheels with the white walls. Uh, or I might build the one that I saw Something similar to the one I saw at the uh, Good Guys show uh, a few months ago. The uh, green one, it was a beautiful car. Finally, bought the uh, AMT 51 Chevy Bel Air. Uh, I have a good friend, my uh, brother from another mother, Casey, that I work with. Uh, he sent out a picture of uh, a 40, I think it was, I believe it was a 49 Chevy, he said. That I think it looks similar to this. I'd like to build, if I can get hit, drag some more pictures of, of that car out of him. Um, his had mags in a 350 in it, and it was kind of like a beat up flat red. Uh, I'd like to build this. He's moving to, he's moving to Hawaii uh, April or May because he's retiring, and uh, I'm going to miss him. He's a great guy, but he's you know, going on to his um, his dream is to live in Hawaii. He's a, he's as much of a Hawaii phobe as I uh, phobe uh, Hawaii Hawaiian um, fanatic as I am a Japanophile. Um, I'd like to build this for him. I probably have to mail it to him because I don't think I could ever get this done before he mo he retires and moves. But uh, I might get another one of these because I see a lot of Chevy kits and I really like this body style. Uh, I know a lot of guys like the 55, 56, and 57 Chevys, but I really think these are very cool. And it's very similar to the, the old I'm building. So, so that's, that's pretty much it. A little short uh, update. Um, not much else is happening. Had a like, wonderfully busy weekend. It's back to the grind tomorrow, unfortunately. But... Uh, Going at it with a new perspective, had some conversations with a couple of good friends of mine 
uh, about my situation where I work and hopefully I can just um, pretty much say F it you know I get paid whatever but uh, I have, hope everybody had a great weekend and I hope everybody has a great week and we will talk to you later bye bye